In this section, we're going to look at font family. Font family is often referred to as the CSS font family property, and this determines how the font styles or appearance looks on the page. By changing the font family property, we can change how the typography on the page looks. Um, so in this example here, this is a font family typography using Times New Roman. And then we can change it to a different font family like Open Sans. The font family property can be applied to all of your H tags as well as the P tags. There are two types of family names. The font family name, and this refers to the font family. The second one, which is the generic family name, and this refers to the wider umbrella of the font family categories. So we have things like Serif and Sans Serif. In this example here, we can see that the font type is Times New Roman. The family name is Times, and the generic family name is Serif. Again, these can be applied to the H tag or the P tag. When deciding on your font family value, it is always worth uh, doing some research to see which are the most common types. If you use a really obscure one, then it is going to be unlikely that um, a specific browser may support that. So we have some examples here. These are the most common font families. So when deciding on your font family, try and pick one that um, is included on the list here. So there are two main ways to determine the font families for the respective tags. And this can either be done inline, which looks like this, or it can be done internal, which is creating a CSS section at the bottom um, and using the label property to determine the font family instead. So try the quick quiz below and uh, answer some of the questions. We've also got a little HTML box as well um, down below and try changing some of the code to see how when you insert different types of font family, it changes the output on the HTML box.